Research is one of the most important thing for the development of a country and for establishment of a happy society. Research is equally important in the scientific field as much as it is for social fields. Most of the funds in research comes from government in India. Accountability is a big problem. Here in India, accountability is done by publications in international journal. The publications in international journal are very expensive and it is not available to the public of India. In other words, most of our research results are not available to the public of India. Funds come from the government, which is public money. Public cannot get the benefit. This is not good. If we look from another point of view, we have national conferences. National conferences are not at all national in character. They are often a collection of friends getting together for a conference. In other countries, national conferences in a subject, all the faculty and the students will come together once in a year. Most of the time, these conferences are rotated throughout the country. So people travel across the country and they get a, this also becomes a part of the national integration. If this system is established, we will find that national conferences become a good academic environment where the industry also will participate and become the foundation for academia and industry interaction. There are a few other points that requires improvement in the research culture of India. I'll take them up one at a time. First point, patent. Patent is one thing that the industry does to protect its own intellectual right. The things that they discover, when it is used by other people, they earn money. However, it's quite different in the academia. They do it for their academic improvements, promotions, Mostly, we find that there are expenses in maintaining the patent and almost no income. I think the institutes in India need to do introspection and make sure the patent process is financially viable. The next point which I want to emphasize is honorarium. We need to incentivize the system. Most of the research funds come from the government and government has a tendency not to provide honorarium to the faculty. This creates a big problem. Most of, most of the research funds are applied by the young faculty and many times the senior faculties lose their interest in the research. If we can give incentive to the, to the faculties, it will be very good. Why just faculties? We can also give research grants to the private bodies. Anybody who does research, I think we should give incentive. This will increase the competition in the country and maybe one day the private people will do better research than the academia. Last but not the least, I want to emphasize that today academia, the faculties, cannot participate in the political process of the country. I am not sure whether I am over emphasizing or under emphasizing. I think the faculty should be considered as the intelligent people of the country and their participation would help the country improve. Yes, their participation does not mean they should disturb the academic environment and have unions and things like that. I mean, we should be allowed to join parties. We should also be allowed to participate in the elections. If we are elected, we should be given leave from the institute so that we can contribute to the country. To tell that leave the job if you want to go to politics, I think that's not fair. I really appeal that we should be allowed to participate in the process. If you look at, if you look at Germany, Jonah Wonka, Angela Merkel, both of them are famous leaders. Both of them are doctorates. Both of them started their career as an academia and they graduated to become successful political figures. In fact, Angela Merkel is very famous and one of the most successful politicians in the world. I salute both of them. I wish 
India has similarly people who come from the academia with highest degrees to lead the country to a bright future. Thank you very much.